What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And people have been asking me about a duck update. I guess there's been a lot of news going on on the internet. And FBG been in a lot of the viral news, uh, especially with news about measles kind of hitting the internet. You know, a lot of people wonder about this trial. And people don't realize how fast it's going. Time is going real fast. Duck trial is going to be in about, I believe, five or six months. It's coming real soon. A lot of people ask me, are these guys going to be convicted? We didn't talk about that. I didn't took that to the board. We didn't broke this story down plenty of times. But you know what? Someone asked me something that I thought was very strong and I wanted to share with you. They said, true. Do you think everybody's going to be convicted? You know, that's very, very, very strong when I thought about that. Me personally, I'm not sure if they're going to run this case together. These guys are going to get a separate trial. But I'm under the impression this case is going to be ran together with all these guys together. Uh, you know, I think it's a lot of evidence. You got to remember, this is the feds. When the feds get involved, it's almost like a tap out car. It's almost like they choking you and you got to tap out. Because they got all these resources and things that the state police won't have. When the feds come in, it's pretty much like you lock. You know, they put you in a position where you got to take a deal. The deal be 20, 30 years and shit like that. So, you know, these guys are facing life in a penitentiary. Like, this is not a game. The police is alleging that they got together and banded together to kill FBG Duff. You know, a lot of people talk about this 100K rumor. You know, I don't really want to speak to that too much because if we always follow in the culture, we realize that uh, Duck was a target, Vaughn was a target. It had nothing to do about 100K. These guys would have got themselves hurt if they just would have seen each other. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's how the internet makes it look like. Uh, especially when you look at the case, you got to understand... Duck was shot and killed downtown on Oak Street in the Gold Coast community. It was a car that was towed the next day. The next day, they towed a car in Berlin that they say was connected to Duck death. So, they was right on Duck case from the beginning of it. You know, this wasn't like a secret or anything like that. The police, you know, had an inside track on what happened. It was a lot of cooperation. Uh, they got surveillance tapes, which clearly mean that the security in O Block was cooperating with the police. Not saying they was telling, but the police put a lot of pressure on security and parkway gardens. You got to think about that. We didn't witness shootings outside of that complex. Uh, we didn't witness killings inside of it. So now, with them alleging that it was a conspiracy that started from inside that place, I'm pretty sure that the feds and the police put a lot of pressure on the security that were working in there. I wouldn't be surprised if the tip, the informant came from, you know, ex-security that used to work in there. I don't believe nobody now. I believe this is a whole new security, if you ask me. All the events that led up, I would believe that this is a whole new set, you know. But I believe a lot of the security in the past um, were maybe contacted by the feds or maybe just somebody on the outside, not to just put it on nobody. True, not putting nothing on nobody, but I don't think it was nobody on the inside uh, that was an informant to say anything like that because I believe Duck and Vaughn beef was way bigger than just 100000 on somebody's head. If you follow the culture, it's been murders and, you know, um, beef and shit between these communities a long time ago, way before anybody got super, super rich. So uh, that's why I say I believe a lot of that informant shit come from outside people, in my opinion. But, you know, all these guys um, are being accused of the murder of FBG Duck. The feds claim it was four shooters, which means it was a getaway driver. And maybe in the other car, the driver got out and shot two. The feds claim two people shot at Duck, two people shot at Duck girlfriend. That's what's inside the paperwork. That's what we read. Uh, that document is out. Um, one thing I can tell you is that from the paperwork, it's five people arrested. So there was just one getaway driver uh, who didn't shoot. You know, maybe that person might be offered a deal. I'm not sure exactly who that person is. You know, everybody involved in the commission of a murder, what they're alleging. But I believe if there's anyone that can work out a deal, it'll probably be that person right there. We didn't heard Muwap say he ain't hanging with motherfuckers when he come home. Uh, that's what's going around the internet, him saying something like that. All kind of shit. I had an opportunity to speak with uh, C. Murder. Uh, in an interview with Big One, Big One is actually locked up right now. I had a chance to talk to see uh why he was locked up and seemed like his spirits were okay, even though he's facing a long time, you know. But that's all I can tell you. One thing I can say is 
in this era with no rumors of telling on each other. We ain't really hearing no rumors that they snitching on each other and shit like that. So it seemed like they staying solid. They banding together. They not talking. They not telling each other. They gonna take this to trial. They claiming they innocent. We haven't heard anyone taking no deals there or anything like that. I can tell you that when the trial start though, it be a lot of fire in them courtrooms. Them feds bring all kind of shit out. Expert witness, POV surveillance footage, you know, cameras, backgrounds. They got all kind of shit that they put out to convict people. So, you know, this is going to be a strong case. We all going to be watching this. It's going to be at the Federal Dirksen Building downtown. Um, this is a Fed case. So, you know, this is going to be documented in the Suntime newspapers and the Chicago Tribunes. A lot of people going to have their eye on this case. The police is claiming that, you know, these five guys, you know, drove through downtown and did like an Al Capone style hit. You know, Doug Body was riddled with a lot of bugs, you know. Uh, in my opinion, I believe he'll be big as life right now in the rap game because this high big, he got strictly by himself. He wasn't a world star dude. We didn't really see world star posting him. We didn't see the shade room, Hollywood unlock and shit like that posting him. You know, he did that shit strictly him dependent. Not independent, him dependent. He did that shit himself, you know. So I think he's a legend in this shit. But, you know, a lot of people ask me about those guys. You know, do I think they all going to be convicted? I believe, you know, it's a high, high chance that all those guys uh, not never, ever being able to come home again. You know, the feds are involved. They claiming they got surveillance tapes and all kind of shit. That's strong, you know, so I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, we ain't going to write them off now. If they claiming they didn't do it, they claiming they didn't do it. You know, I don't got no fight in this. I got to be honest. Uh, but that's why I want to ask y'all a question. I think this is a strong question. I want y'all to be honest with me. I read all the comments. I'm going to be in the comment section. Keep it honest with me. Do you think all those guys are going to be found guilty in LBG duck case? Or do you think it's a chance one of these guys can beat this case? Or one of these guys going to find a way to get from up under this? I'd love to know what y'all think. Leave a comment. It's the homie Truth Tell the Street Reporter.